Hey, how's it going? I'm Jeff. I'm not Jeff. I'm not Jeff Jr. Today we're at Clark's Trading Post in Lincoln, New Hampshire. We're gonna bring you inside, show you around. Maybe you'll learn something. Today we're in Lincoln, New Hampshire. Now the town of Lincoln is just about an hour's drive north from the capital city of Concord and it's home to many popular attractions, including but not limited to Franconia Notch State Park, Whale's Tail Water Park, Loon Mountain Ski Resort, and a number of other exciting destinations. But we're here for Clark's Bears, a roadside attraction that's been around since 1928. Florence and Ed Clark called the original spot Ed Clark's Eskimo Sled Dog Ranch. It featured purebred Eskimo sled dog tours and artifacts from the north, and the original stand here offered souvenirs and other items for travelers in the area. Florence and Ed purchased the Black Bear in 1931 in order to attract more visitors to their establishment. It worked. Then in 1949, their children, Edward and Murray, started training the bears to perform for the guests. The show evolved into what it is today, a blend of entertainment, humor, and education. Clark's Bears. This is the home of Clark's trained bears and the White Mountain Central Railroad. My name is Murray Clark, I'm the youngest of two who work with the bears here. Also today, in the ring, you'll see my sister, Maureen oh, Clark. Yeah. And out of the two of us that work here in the ring, I consider myself Hello, yeah. to be the most handsome. Hello. Not quite the reaction I was looking for, <laughs> but I'm used to it. My sister Maureen has what we call a busy ball. Inside there is a reward, peanuts in the shell. All of the bears get these during the day and they roll them back and forth on the ground and the peanuts fall out. However, he's a show bear and he has a much faster way to get this done. In a moment here, he's going to roll right over on his back and dump the contents in his mouth uh, whenever you're ready, sir. <laughs> There'll be a slight pause for about 20 minutes. Oh, there he goes. Just like clockwork. Hey, you got in the chair backwards. Oh, now you're going to ride backwards? You know, come to think of it, he does everything backwards. But that's just the way he is. He's a clown. All he wants to do is make people laugh. And he's working as hard as he can. Oh, thank you. You know, he really appreciates a good audience. Look at him smile. Now, more in the fall now. He needs a little help getting out of the chair. He doesn't want help. He's a teenager. He knows it all already. But this time, you be careful. Don't slip and fall on your ass. Ankle. Uh, you better go with Maureen. She's got the money. Walks it out, puts a foot on, and away he goes. There's something you don't see every day. It is not every day you get to see something you don't see every day. He's still in driver's ed, practicing up to be an Uber driver. You know, he's getting good. Soon we'll see him headed right on down Route 3, past Bayway Drive. Hey! You know, you just left the scene of an accident. Goodness, where did you get a driver's license? What's that? Massachusetts? <laughs> the things they say to the Rick Morgan, you better wash his mouth out with ice cream. He could hurt someone's feelings like that. Now, we're going to show you the most complex stunt that he does. We take a bunch of props, set them up around the ring. He comes along, picks them up, makes a pile out of them, climbs up on top, changes the light bulb. What are you doing? <laughs> You're making a spectacle of yourself. You can't just sit there and bear it all, you know. <laughs> he made that one up himself. He loves to sit there and count his little piggies. And he started doing that when he was just a little fellow. 
Maureen saw him and has encouraged him ever since. Whenever you're ready, Your Highness, let's get this started. Nicely done. Echoes our most patriotic bear. And after she raises up the flag, the next order of business is to check the mail. We always check the bear mail during our show. You never know what you're going to get. Publisher's Clearinghouse, a new America online disc, maybe even round two of the stimulus checks. What did we get today? Oh, look at that! Hooray! The tax bills are in! She's in position. I guess it's time for a little refreshment. And you'll notice that Echo drinks from a bear can. You can find these along the edges of the highways here in New Hampshire. Parking lots, back alleyways, wherever the wild bears drop them to get. This is a bear can. And this is a bear belly. Can't you know she's ficklish? Coochie, coochie, coo. Ticky, ticky, tick, mine. No wonder she's ticklish. Would you look at that? She's barefoot. <laughs> Ain't that something? And after she's done drinking the contents of the can, she will not drop it on the ground and walk off like a people. Echo has better manners than that. She is the first bear in history to recycle. That's right. All of our black bears are going to green. It's good for everyone. It helps to keep our grounds and the state of New Hampshire looking beautiful. Another thing to do here is take the train ride. In the 1950s, the brothers started salvaging steam engines and displaying them on the property. This led to the construction of track and eventually the founding of the White Mountain Central Railroad. This is one of the few places in New England that runs steam trains regularly, but this season they're operating the diesel one. So hop aboard the White Mountain Central Railroad and take a 25 minute tour of the forest. But watch out for the wolf man. My name is Logan and I'm your conductor. Our engineer Bobby has informed me that we're all fueled up, so I'll give him the highball sign and we'll be on our way. I do have a couple of requests to ask of you. First of all, please do not sit on the red hand railings on the sides of the cars. And secondly, please do not throw anything or anyone from the train. I also must warn you that once we cross over our covered bridge, we'll be entering Wolfman's territory, where anything can happen, so you might want to hold on to your loved ones. On second thought, you may not. That part is entirely up to you. Mr. Engineer, when you're ready. If you look to your left, you'll see the Anaconda Escape, our sensational raft line. You can go down fully below because you will be in a raft. You will get a little wet, but it'll be refreshing after that exhausting hike up the stairs. And off to the right, you can see the water blaster boats and the Old Man of the Mountain Climbing Tower, which are both included in your admission ticket. There's also an extended ride that goes through the woods where you can meet the Wolfman face to face, though that does cost a little extra. You can at least ride here and say that you've been on the nation's newest form of transportation. And right behind it, you can see the location of Tull's Shooting Gallery, where you can compete with your friends to see who can get the higher score. And here we have our wood pile. We do use wood in our steam locomotives. However, today we are running our diesel engine. 
a lot of wood. <laughs> and we'll soon be heading over the Howe Trust Covered Bridge. It was built in 1904 in East Montpelier, Vermont, for the Barry and Chelsea Railroad. It was purchased by the Clark family in 1960, and they spent the next four years taking it apart, numbering each piece, and putting it back together here on the south side of the river. There's an old tale that if you make a wish, and then hold your breath all the way through a covered bridge, your wish just might come true. a number of museums to check out here as well. This one right here is the 1884 Pemajawasset Hook and Ladder Fire Station featuring antique horse-drawn fire engines, wagons, and other tools of the trade. This is the Americana Museum. Now this building contains antique electrical and mechanical items in addition to restored appliances and much much more. You can actually spend a great deal of time just looking at all these unique items that are housed here. One of the strangest museums here is this one. This is the Florence Murray Museum. Now, this museum contains weird things from the past, including old typewriters, games, guns, and swords. But there's also a two-headed calf, a six-legged calf, and whatever the heck this thing is. I'm not sure, but she's kind of cute though, I guess. My favorite blast from the past was this place right here, Avery's Garage. Now this is a replica gas station full of vintage memorabilia, antique cars, and my favorite, antique motorcycles. There's even a fully restored 1931 LaSalle in here.
There's definitely a lot to do at Clark's and we really enjoyed our time here. It's pretty clear why this place has remained a top New Hampshire attraction for decades. It's worth checking out if you happen to be in the area. Thanks for joining us here on another episode of Exit the Norm. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you find this um, broad, take a picture of it. See you later on the next video of Exit the Norm.